Welcome to Threaded South. My name is Ashley and in this tutorial you will learn how to make a VHS slash glitch effect. But before we get started, make sure you click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Create a new file. I will be using inches for this tutorial. Change your width to eight and a half. The height should be 11 and the resolution should be 300. Change your color mode to CMYK. Now we're gonna create a solid color background and change it to black. Now for the background, we are going to rename this our artwork. and then right click, convert to smart object. Now go up to image mode, RGB color. And now we're gonna open up our statue image. Go ahead and rename it, and then drag it over into our artwork layer. Place a black and white adjustment layer on top and save this smart object. Now take your artwork smart object and duplicate it. And I'm going to rename it black and place it within a group and name it black. Now open up this group and duplicate the black layer four more times. And now we're gonna place them into separate groups. Take two of the layers and rename this layer red. Take another layer and place it within its own group. And name this layer green. And then take another layer and we will name this layer blue. Now here I am just changing the color of each layer to kind of organize it a bit better. Now I'll make these top three groups invisible. Now select the artwork layer and use your rectangular marquee tool and make sure you have the combined shapes selected. Make several different sizes of rectangles. Now go to select inverse and make a mask from it. Now here I'm going to make a selection from the mask, then go back up to select inverse and select the second black layer and make a mask from it. Now go to filter, distort, wave and change the number of generators to 5. The max wavelength should be 120, the minimum should be 10, amplitude should be 5 and 564, scale should be 54 and 1. And now we're going to add a channel mixer adjustment layer. Let's start off with cyan. Keep it as is. Let's go to magenta. Leave that one as is as well. Now let's jump to yellow. And then now let's go to black. Now let's check the blue layer. And on the blue layer, we're gonna move it to the left just a tad. And we're gonna make a selection from the original artwork layer and make a mask from it. and then change this layer to lighter color. 
Now we're going to add a channel mixer adjustment layer and create a clipping mask from it. Let's start with cyan and change it to 200. And then go to magenta. And then go to yellow. And then go to black. Change the first one to 14. And leave the rest as is. Now let's select the green layer. And on the green layer, we're going to make a selection from the original artwork mask and create a mask from it. And now we will go up to filter, distort, ripple and change the amount to 524% and the size should be medium. Now let's change the green group to lighter color and the opacity should be 80%. Now we're going to add a channel mixer for this group as well and make sure you create clipping mask. Let's start off with cyan. Change the first one to 200%. Magenta should be negative 200. Yellow should be 200%. Now let's go to magenta. It should be negative 200, 100, 200. And then for yellow, it should be 200, 0, 100, 0. And then for black, everything should be 0 but except for black should be 100. And now for the top layer, I am going to create new selections using the rectangular marquee tool. and create a mask. Now let's add a wave effect and the number of generators should be 163, wavelength should be 10 and 52, amplitude should be 5 and 56, scale should be 66 and 1. Now we're going to change the red layer to lighter color. Now let's add a channel mixer adjustment layer. Now for cyan, it should be zero, negative 200, negative 200, zero and zero. For magenta, it should be 200, 200, 200, and 200. Now for yellow, it should be 0, 283, 0, and 0. And for black, it should be 12, 10, 67, 107 and 0. Now we're going to pop over to Illustrator and open up the black lines vector file. Copy and paste this file into Photoshop. Now here I'm just stacking my lines and making them a bit shorter in height and then place your lines within a group and change this layer to vivid light and I will change my opacity to 88%.
Now I'm going to add a brightness and contrast layer and I will change my brightness to 49 and leave the contrast at zero. If you like what you saw today, make sure you click that like button and subscribe. Also, if you would like to grab some merch, head on over to threadedsouth.com. Thanks for watching.